Peggy. Yeah, we all know you're all right, Cloud. Good morning. It is Thursday and it is day 14. What was that? Well, I thought it was the fridge, but I think it... Someone mowing their lawn the moment I get the camera out. Oh, well, sorry about that background noise. One of the neighbours is out mowing the lawn. Uh, where was I? Yes, I'm feeling a little bit better than yesterday, but still pretty grotty. I am up, I'm out of bed and I am dressed. I have been out already. I went to get an outside doormat because um, so many of you suggested that as an idea um, for keeping the mud down now that we're in and out of the garden so much with the chickens. Sorry, just coughing. I will have cut that out. Um, so I went, I popped out to get a doormat um, so that's already doing its job. It's already absolutely covered in mud. I'm going to run the hoover around in a minute because I didn't do that yesterday because I was in bed all day. Uh, while I was out, I popped by the testing centre and had a PCR test done. Um, I explained that I lived with one person with COVID and one person with a cold <laughs> and that I'd caught the cold, but it was probably a good thing to get a PCR test just in case. Um, and they were more than happy to let me do that. So I'll get the results of that tomorrow. I am convinced that this is just a really bad cold after quite a long time of not being exposed to germs and things. Uh, yeah, we'll see though. It's probably better safe than sorry. What else? Uh, oh, I had a couple of questions, which I wrote down. Valerie asked, what does cheap and cheerful mean? <laughs> so I used this expression a couple of vlogs ago. I was making myself some lunch. I made a spicy tuna pasta thing. And I said I was using cheap and cheerful tuna. Um, it, I, it means that it's something that's cheap, but it does the job just as well. I think that would be the best explanation of that. So it's cheap and cheerful. Cheerful being you're cheerful because even though it's cheap, it does the job just as well than if it was more expensive. I might be wrong. I don't know where it comes from, but that's what it means. And a couple of people actually asked for that recipe, it's, and it's not really a recipe. Cutting out more coughing there again. Um, so what I did was I, I heated up a little bit of olive oil, I crushed a garlic clove, I cooked the garlic in the oil for about a minute, I added a whole tin of tomatoes and some salt and pepper and some chilli flakes, some dried chilli flakes, cooked it up, mashed it down a bit with my masher because I don't like my tin tomato sauces to be too lumpy. And then I added the whole tin of tuna, let it heat through for a couple of minutes and bunged it on the top of the pasta. And I've still got half of it left in the fridge, so I might actually have that for my lunch today. We had an absolutely lovely dinner last night. We had a Thai red curry, prawn red curry, and it was delicious and it was really spicy. And it was just what I wanted. Um, Dan made that, he was really pleased with himself and quite rightly so. So I definitely have that again next week, I think, for me and Dad. I don't think the girls would like it, a bit too spicy for them. Peggy, my speckled marron chicken, um, has laid an egg this morning, so that's good. She does seem a little bit brighter today. Um, she's bocking about the garden with the others as I speak. Yeah, she's looking a lot more chickeny today, which is good. I have spoken to the vets as well and explained, and they said to observe her for today see how she is. She is drinking, she's not really eating a lot, but she is pecking about and she's just not herself. But they said keep an eye on her, see how she is and you can always bring her down tomorrow. No point unnecessarily moving her around if it might be something she's over quite quickly. The other two are, are fine. Uh, a couple of people suggested maybe she was jealous she didn't have her own bowl of seed, <laughs> which is quite funny. Whenever we put out more than one bowl, they all try to eat out of the same bowl. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Even when we gave them cucumber, we cut the cucumber in half. They all tried to fight over the same bit of cucumber. Chickens. Um, but thank you for your well wishes for Peggy and for me. Um, but I'll keep you posted. Hopefully she'll, she'll be feeling more herself soon. That's it for an introduction. Too much yabbering on already. So I will, uh, I'm going to go and get on with what I'm going to be doing. What am I doing? I don't know. I think I'm going to run the hoover around. I'm trying a thing. So this is my wax melt 
thingy, you put a candle in and then you put the wax in the top. My friend Lily last year sent me a sort of potpourri that you put in the top of this and then the potpourri gives off the scent when it heats up <clears throat> and it looks like all the ingredients of herbal tea, except it's not. I've got this which I bought in Ghent in Belgium ages ago, got two bags of it and I don't drink it as much as I used to. I don't want to just throw it out, so I thought I'd see if it might work in the same way as the potpourri. It's either going to be a genius idea, or in a minute I'm going to be putting out a dried fruit fire. I just retrieved this. Oh, this is a whole other thing. I'll try and talk about that later. I just retrieved this box from underneath the bed because um, there wasn't much in it really and I'm going to make a winter dust bath for the chickens um, and I've been looking for this picture I, I couldn't work out why I couldn't find it this is this was up in our bedroom before we had it decorated and I've been looking for it to put it back up it was an online friend of mine did it years and years and years ago it's called unexpected I think it's going to go in my new scheme if not, I'll put it in my gallery wall in the hallway. I also found these, which I've obviously bought with some kind of craft in mind. A for Ali, D for Dan. I thought, I don't know, any ideas on how to decorate these cardboard letters to make them look good for our bedroom, maybe? When we eventually put some bookshelves up, they'll look good on there, won't they? It is quarter past three. Phoebe is home because her match finished a bit early. They lost, um, but they played really well. It was the first time, they've only been playing together for a week. And um, it's the first time they played a proper match and apparently they played really well. Um, and they all really enjoyed it. I am, oh, don't you just hate it when you pull something out of the dishwasher and it's not cleaned properly and then you have to wash it anyway. I'm just emptying the dishwasher and cleaning around the kitchen and having a little think about what to do for dinner because I am going to go to Lydia's sixth form open evening on her behalf because she is still isolated. Oh, what's going on with the dishwasher? Nothing's clean. I'm going to have to do like all the washing up. Ugh. Maybe it needs some more salt or something. Something's wrong with a dishwasher. Alright. Everything's coming out dirty. The, the, the maintenance man is just having a look at it. Probably needs, let's try to put more salt in and more rinse aid. Okay, there's the verdict. Um, yeah, so I'm just doing domestic things. I've hoovered, I've dusted the living room sorted out some um, house admin type stuff and 
signed forms and so on. I've made a dust bath for the chickens because in the winter it's a bit harder for them to find somewhere to have their dust bath. So um, I use that box from under the bed, which is good size, and I filled it with soil. We have sandy soil here and some sand and some wood ash uh, from the fire, which I sieve to get the lumps out, and a bit of lavender. And I've got some of the red mite stuff which I shall put in there should they take to using it. I've put it in the place where they would normally have a dust bath because it's a sunny spot. It's turning into chicken vlogs this, isn't it? Yeah. Keep going the chicken on about diaries. Chicken diaries. I keep going on about blinking chicken. Anyway, I'm going to have to sort my hair out and try to make myself look presentable so I can go to this sixth form thing in a bit. Uh, but first I'm just going to finish doing all the kitchen stuff. I was going to say something else. What was it? Uh, oh yes, I was going to show you what that ball thing was that I filmed earlier. Oh, Peggy just literally ran up the garden. Did she? That's the most energetic I've seen her in like the last 24 hours. That's um, good so I will, I will switch it on and show you, but I have to wait until it's a bit darker, I think, and then I'll show you what it is. I'm so sorry that the last few days have been so boring. I feel like I've honestly just scraping the barrel because I haven't done much. Well, I have, I've obviously you only see like 10 minutes of an entire day, but I haven't done much of interest to share. But I guess that's vlogging, isn't it? I, guess. I said literally everything you've done. I thought, you were, I thought you were talking to me then, I didn't realise you were filming. I was going, quite right, you should apologise. <laughs> Generally, I'm not an interesting person. What have you done that's interesting then? I've worked. I have fetched. I'll tell you what is interesting is my hair. It's quite ginger at the minute. Georges. That could be the thumbnail. <laughs> it, it won't be the thumbnail. <sighs> Update on this. Um, I burnt it for about an hour and it did smell nice. It smelled a bit like a cake was baking in the kitchen and then it just stopped smelling. I didn't, I mean, it didn't burn or go acrid or anything like that. It just, the, the smell kind of stopped. Then I realised it was probably a bad time to do this experiment when I've got a cold and I can't smell anything anyway. So I'm going to try it again once I've. Um, recovered my sense of taste and smell properly. Ta-da! I've got straight hair ready to go out. I just want to show you how the uh, dust bath, um, the plan for the dust bath, why I'm using a box. They can hear me coming. They're all back in their run now. So I can put a lid on it and keep it dry. So when it's really wet and snowy, maybe they will have somewhere dry to go and have a little dust bath. Remember I said the other day I've got to sort this little area out? Yeah, well I didn't. <laughs> so that's the dust bath. Oh, wiping my feet on the outdoor mat. And then the indoor mat, we're all set up now. So I'm gonna go and get my coat on and go down. Oh. That's better. Um, go down to the school and have a little half hour wander around. The girls are gonna have my homemade pasta sauce on pasta tonight. I had a, a batch in the freezer. And they're gonna have that with a bit of garlic bread and some salad. A little COVID one. <laughs> and I don't know what Dan and I are having. We haven't been very good at meal planning this week. We're kind of winging it, so we've got no idea. And also, I don't feel like anything. Like, he goes, what about this? And I go, no. What about this? No. Hmm. Like, you can't really see it, because it's not dark enough. Lily has just gone to go and get the thing that goes on the back. Right, that should help. 
it show up a little bit. I'll have to film this again later when it's dark. So, oh dear, it just fell off. It's a plasma globe, basically. It's filled with a, a mixture of gases, noble gases, and a high voltage electrode in the middle. Um, and when the voltage comes out, the plasma is formed within it, so the filaments can extend to the, the glass on the outside. And then when you touch it, it goes to your finger. You've probably seen these before. We had it for ages, and I was going to get rid of it, and then I realised it would make a brilliant whoops, Halloween decoration. On oh, Halloween, we, we, put, Halloween. we could put it in the window, couldn't we? We all love Halloween in this house. Exactly. So we're going to keep it, and it's pretty cool. It was invented in the uh, uh, late 1800s by Nikola Tesla. Tes Tesla? Tesla, yeah. It's in the car brand, Tesla. Yeah, it's the same name, isn't it? I wonder if they're related... <laughs> you probably can't see me. It's a bit dark. Oh, that's bright. Can you see me now? I'm coming back the shortcut way, which is the way we normally go. Um, but it's very, very dark, especially when you're filming it. It's even darker and a bit spooky, especially as it's spooky season. Hope I don't meet any vampires or witches. The birds sing. I am home. I'm going to go and put my pyjamas on. Dan and I scoured the fridge and we've got enough vegetables. Oh, that is not good light, is it? <laughs> we've got enough vegetables and things to throw together uh, to make a pretty decent stir fry with some corn and some sweet chilli sauce. And yeah, so I'm going to say good night now. And see you tomorrow. Bye, baby. <laughs>